The 15th annual Bishop Mike Okonkwo football competition has come and gone with a total of 64 teams participating in a competition that reaches out for the grassroots and youth in the society. Originally built to be an inter-church football competition, this year's tournament was staged with the idea of having different regions partake in the competition. DBN Sports spoke with the chairman of the local organizing committee of the competition, Ike Malaki Ndubuzo, who shared more on the idea behind the tournament. This is Dickin Malaki Ndubuzo. I'm the chairman of the local organizing committee of the Michael Kompo football competition. Uh, we just had the 15th edition that ended on the 2nd of September 2017. Um, the competition started uh, 15 years ago precisely and uh, we have made sure that every year is always staged and uh, it is a flagship of all the uh, um, grassroots competition in Lagos. Um, this year's edition we had a total of 64 teams that uh, took part in the competition and uh, you know what it means, it was a, a place for all the youths in Lagos to converge and we are happy to be part of what God is doing using the competition for the youths. Earlier on is a grassroots competition. It is geared towards uh, taking the youth out of the streets. But beyond that, because it's a, 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 an event that uh, is organized by the church, we use it as an opportunity to preach the gospel. But uh, it has also grown beyond that again. Don't forget that it started in the church where the church branches we are competing within themselves. But now we discover that it is something we can use to uh, take care of the youth. And uh, we treat open and uh, clubs from, you know, academies and all other, uh, you know, footballing uh, um, uh, units started coming. And even in churches, they started bringing up, uh, uh, setting up football units. And today, we have reached out to several youths. We also had teams from Okun State and Oyo State competing. And Bishop has said, okay, let us go national. So we said, okay, let's start regional. So what it means that the Southwest, the competition is reaching out to almost all the youths in this area. And it has become a household name because every year, we, in fact, we had more than 64 entries. We decided to bring it down so that uh, we can be able to manage the number of teams that will be part of it. Part of what we did this year was bringing the SWAN, Sports Writers Association of Nigeria, to play a novelty match against the coaches of the clubs that took part in the competition. To us, it was a good one, bringing the media and then the coaches themselves. So they had that uh, uh, novelty match as a, uh, a starter. Then we also did what we call exhibition match, where we brought the Cowbell Academy playing against the Trem Football Academy. This is the second uh, novelty, we we'll call it an exhibition match before the main final, which was between uh, two teams that happened to come from um, the, um, the redeemed Christian Church of God. Uh, the, the two teams are um, Young Talent uh, 99 FC and uh, uh, FC Bethel. They are, they, both teams have origins from the redeemed uh, Christian Church of God. So to us, it was a good final because they, they, this year's final ended in penalty shootout. And the original, you know, during the regulation, it ended one goals apiece. And then at the end of the day, it uh, uh, took us to penalty shootout. And Young Talent 99 uh, FC won the match. It was uh, an interesting match to watch. I'm sure if you were there physically, you would have loved to you know, have it. But then... It was a good thing that a team that is made up of young footballers, you know, won the, won the match. Uh, what that tells me, in effect, is that there is hope for Nigerian football. And that is exactly what the Michael Kunko football is all about, trying to discover these young ones and give them a hope for tomorrow. MFMFC, one of the privately owned football clubs in the Nigerian Premier League, finished second in the just-concluded MPFL league season. This prompted the question. Should Nigerians expect something similar or possibly bigger from the organizers of the competition? I want to believe that uh, what we are doing is reaching out more than what MFM is doing in the league because uh, we are grassroots, we are reaching out to more, more people. But again, um, Bishop has also tell, told us that it is time to have a football club in Trem. And uh, in the next, 
maybe in another one year it will be launched we are putting together the things that we need to uh, get it on board and uh, by the special grace of God you're going to see another team from a church and trem we are more we are on ground we are on ground we have all the people that we need to get into this thing and the uh, bishop has said yeah boys this is time to get it done and uh, we are working on it very soon it will be launched after putting together a successful tournament the 16th edition promises to be bigger and better here's what he had to say we we started uh, originally, the convention started with uh, maybe our eight teams in the in the premises of the Redeemed Evangelical Mission Headquarters branch. I mean, but uh, over time, we we are continue to improve the, with the number of teams that participate. We had 16, 24, uh, 32, 48, and now we are 64. We had the temptation of uh, having 72 this year. Maybe perhaps we should, if that is the only thing that we, we, a lot of people will believe we, is, uh, will make the difference, we may increase the number of uh, participating teams. But then again, it's not about the number of teams that take part. It's about the quality of um, organization. Uh, I don't want to say we are uh, top-notch, no, but what we are trying to do is, because it's a church team, a lot of people believe that, ah, okay, uh, Trem, we ensure that quality uh, of what we bring to the table is important. For example, what we did this year was to ensure that all the teams play according to the rules. Those teams that we found, we are trying to, uh, you know, change the players, uh, cut out and all of that, we are disqualified. So, to us, is something that uh, is not done, I mean, in Nigeria today. A lot of people believe that Nigeria don't do well when they get to the high level because there is a cheat. We told them, they, you know, is a youth competition, ages uh, 18 and 23. So we monitor that. We don't have the mechanism to say, okay, are you sure this person is this age? But then where you change a player without the, the, the notice of the, I mean, bringing it to, the, to, to us, that is wrong. We discovered it because we had a mechanism to do that. And immediately that was done, we disqualified those teams. So to us, as organizers, what we think is important is making sure that the teams that come to take part in our competition play according to the rules. And we have built up this and we intend not to lower the guard because we want to make sure that when we organize our competition, it is the best and that is where we are. And we are going to improve on that by next year's edition. The final of the competition saw Young Talents 99 go up against FC Betel. The regulation time ended one all with the penalty shootout required to separate the sides. In the end, Young Talent emerged winners of the 15th edition of the Bishop Mike Okonkwo football competition. With tournaments like this, there is certainly hope for Nigerian grassroots football and the Nigerian youths in general.